Today I'm here uh, to talk uh, if a metaverse a cost free world. I was born in this rustic village in Uti and throughout my days uh, I had enjoyed eating carrots and fresh streams of spring water, cost free and we respected mother nature to the core and then this happened in the last 17 years of my corporate life. I had been in Mumbai, uh, Chicago, Paris, Bangalore, and I had one common question, are we right to the right direction? Right? Is technology for good? What I understood is like, as a human being, we are heading towards mad made madness. And then comes COVID in 2020. I had started looking on this subject, the metaverse, and while researching, I slowly understood that metaverse could be a possible or a potential social innovation tool for sustainable future through digital experience. When I say digital, it means we as a physical entity getting into the digital world for most of our conversations, for the tasks, through an immersive experience, and that's by reducing the carbon footprint. I'll take a step back. Let's start from what is metaverse? Metaverse, by me, it's beyond the universe. Yes, we are talking about an another virtual world besides the actual world that we are in for our technological discussions. Now, metaverse is not just what Mark Zuckerberg have defined. It's beyond that. And we have a wrong conception that Meta or Facebook is the only uh, stream of Metaverse, certainly not. And to also just bring everyone to the speed, Metaverse is 3D internet. We all know what Google is today. And we are using that for the last 20, 25 years. And that's the second version of web. Now enters Metaverse, the next chapter of internet, which is a 3D internet which will provide the information that anyone needs in an immersive way. Now I don't want to get too much technical into this uh, slide, but to understand Metaverse, it is not just made of one component. You have multiple components that work together to make a Metaverse a successful kitty. First one is a virtual land. Most of you know that uh, there are many virtual worlds that are already built. Decentraland could be a one sample example of virtual land where uh, we as a metaverse users can log in and use them. And to do that, we are having two options. One, either using a head mount device or using uh, augmented reality. So there are two techniques where we can engage with metaverse. And you certainly need an avatar. That's my avatar, by the way, that was 2019 before COVID. Uh, and thanks to COVID, I had put an additional weight. Uh, but you need a digital avatar to converse. And that's uh, the avatar. And if you want to shop and want to trans transact, you need a currency. And cryptocurrency through blockchain helps that. And if you have an art in this virtual world, you can buy, sell, and decentralized, you can sell between decentralized metaverses. And that, that is NFT. So in a nutshell, this components contribute to the metaverse entity. And people might think that this is for 2030. Certainly not. There are more than 500 companies already part of metaverse ecosystem. And already there are 100 metaverses that exist in today. And few of them, I'm not promoting the gaming by the way here. Uh, Robolex, Minecraft, Fortnite, Zepeto, all have millions of users in it. And when you, when you look at the stats, this is what we see for the next five years in this particular field. Be it NFT, or virtual land, or avatar, or AR, VR, that is a significant growth. What we could understand is a double digit CAGR for the next five years in this particular stream and we will have like millions of air 
VR users and particularly AR, the augmented reality users. Uh, by next year, we are forecasting close to 1.7 billion of users, which is more than the population of India, certainly. And I would like to run this quick demo to make us all understand what is augmented reality is. This was my first uh, proof of concept that I built during COVID wave one, which questioned me, why do I need to go to shopping when it is all in a lockdown system? How I can get that immersive experience at home? And then I tried this. I have an Apple Watch and I have marked up with my image. Now, um, I have the authentication markup image in my phone. Now, when I run this quick demo, I get my background. I'm in the AR camera now and I'm showing this authentication image and I can see the Apple Watch in an augmented reality world. So that was a simple uh, experiment that I tried out of how we can do shopping for an example in that scenario that I shared without driving or without uh, crossing boundaries during lockdown or without having uh, waited in Bangalore traffic for two hours to buy an iPhone watch. With that, I also would like to walk through you all a few of the metaverse applications that are already implemented in India which provides sustainability. I'll start with God. I mean, as an Indian, we all pray. So, Meta Pujo is an event built uh, by a group of team in Kolkata where they have already had a Durga Puja celebrations in Metaverse. My friends from USA, without having any uh, uh, travel to India, could successfully participate in this and there were 60,000 people. Think of the traffic, think of the stampede, think of the rush. It is all done through virtual. And we also have another uh, dedicated metaverse system called Vinus, which is exclusively for religious events. After God, it's all money. It's not any foreign bank which entered into the metaverse. It is, we, are, we all have to be proud that our Union Bank of India is the first bank in the entire world to enter into the metaverse. They have built a unique system called Universe as a digital launch to promote their products, to interact with their customers and also to explain the digital initiatives. So Union Bank is already up and running with this particular platform. Education, yes, the virtual field trips immersive practical classes, and more hands-on sessions, not just by paper, but also through immersiveness, can be done through education, what I call it as metaversity. Uh, a quick example could be Finn Ladder today. Uh, can also think about how we can launch a platform in Metaverse to promote their education system. And even Dharavi Rocks can come in a virtual event and present uh, this in uh, this social uh, environment without even need to travel, travel and uh, spending more time, right? And IIT Madras have already started with this, and it's a good opportunity for Gokhale Institute to think about bringing the hybrid mode of uh, the events like uh, TEDx shows in the virtual world as well in 2024 or 2025. And there are many universities in the world that are already up and running in Metaverse, and they are following hybrid model. Flashy University is one which have already launched Metaverse in India. Next, e-commerce. People like me of art sizes, definitely this is a challenge. I had at least written 50 uh, Amazon uh, returns or Flipkart returns. So Flipkart have recently introduced Flipverse, which is an uh, e-commerce platform for Metaverse shopping. You can plug your avatar into the platform based on your size and based on your interest level. You can flip and choose the right clothing. You need not to drive again to a mall or uh, uh, you need not to, uh, you can even avoid the retaining the items frequently and thereby at least contribute to the carbon footprint reduction. And film industry, 
Sandalwood, uh, the, the place where I come from, Bangalore, we call it as Sandalwood, by the way. Yeah. yeah. So Sandalwood have started a new film completely in metaverse, and they call it as Made in Bangalore, which is going to launch soon. Plus, if you think of the post-production work or the art setup that we are doing in the current film industry, a lot of those pollution can be eventually reduced by leveraging the advanced graphics techniques and virtual world setup in metaverse. Automotive, there are many companies on this where they provide test drives for their customers and also have a, again, a, a virtual or a digital feel to their prospects and customers. Uh, example is Kodaverse here where you can check the different uh, models of car through their uh, unique uh, defined uh, platform called Skodamas. Hospitals is another important uh, medium, healthcare. Uh, Yoshida hospitals have already started their uh, metaverse lab in decent land and this, will, this is going to be the kind of a future where uh, doctors can even talk with people from poor countries in Africa and help them with the right consulting services and uh, this can be even uh, ex I mean, uh, extended to all the uh, villages in India. Just all they need is a mobile phone through which they can consider a doctor through an augmented reality medium. And for your daily shopping, you can even select your specs or uh, any, this is from, by the way, one of the uh, leading merchandise in India. So you can avoid going to shop again and uh, save time and also save uh, the carbon footprints. And this is for my kids. I mean, my kids have started using uh, AR for good. And they, I mean, one boy and one girl, by the picture you can understand. They both started uh, using AR to pick the right pet for their home. So in a natural friends, metaverse is a convergence of real and virtual world. And definitely it is here to stay. And it is going to certainly help the sustainability factor by providing a digital convergence between us and the, the society. And it is going to be very new and there could be risks as well. So, Again, I am not promoting gaming here. Keeping the gaming industry aside, there are many other domains that we can perfectly apply metaverse as a medium to explore and reduce the unnecessary travels. And next time, even I need not to take four hours of cab, two flights, eight water bottles, and 20 hours of journey for a 15 minute stop. I can very well do that through an hologram and through my digital avatar. So, as Metaverse reaches its adoption, I'll be happy to see you all next time from the place where I started digitally. Thank you all.